Hi there, my lovelies. So today we're going to be making French macarons, not to be confused with macaroons, which are a dense coconut cookie. So I'm actually going to teach you how to make them because they can be a little tricky. And then I'll show you three yummy flavors, blackberry cheesecake, chocolate ganache, and a lemon poppy seed. Okay, so first we're going to beat our egg whites. There's definitely a couple tips to making sure your macarons turn out well. So the first tip is to make sure your egg whites are at room temperature. If you forget to take your eggs out of the fridge, that's not a problem. Just soak them in some warm water and bring them up to room temperature. So you're going to want to beat your egg whites for about 8 to 10 minutes on medium speed. While we wait for our egg whites to beat, we're going to sift our powdered sugar and our almond meal. This is the second tip. Make sure you sift it to get out any clumps, so that way your cookies are nice and smooth. Okay, now my almond meal. If you want the full recipe, it's in the description box below. See all that excess, this thick, grainy meal? That's what you don't want in your cookie. I'm just going to mix everything together so it's well combined. Okay, so my eggs have beaten for about four minutes, so now I'm going to add in my sugar slowly. Now I'm going to add some cream of tartare. I really recommend this, especially if you live in a humid area. Some recipes will say that it's not necessary, but I really suggest using it. So just a little bit of that. And just a little salt. Then we're going to let that mix for another four to five minutes. Okay, so I mixed this for about eight minutes. You see how I have nice peaks? That's what you want. So now would be the time if you want to add some food coloring to do it. Macarons are really sensitive to moisture, so I would recommend using a paste instead of the liquid drops. So I'm going to add a little bit of purple. Macarons usually turn out a lot lighter than the actual color, so just be forewarned with that. If you want really vibrant colors, you have to use more food coloring. Give that another mix. So now I'm going to add my dry ingredients to my egg whites. I'm not going to dump it all in at once. I'm just going to add about a third at a time. And here's where a lot of people can mess up their macarons because what you want to do is you want to fold in the dry ingredients with the wet ingredients, but you don't want to over mix your egg whites. So I count in my head between 45 and 55 times total. So five, six, seven, and then add in a little more. So 45 to 55 times total. So you want your batter to be nice and thick, but you see how it's still moving and it's dripping off my spoon? That's what you want. You still want there to be movement there. So now all we have to do is place it in a piping bag and pipe our macarons. Okay, so I have here my piping bag and I'm using a round tip. Once you've piped these cookies, take your tray and bang it on the table like this. You want to do this because it'll release any air bubbles that are in the batter. These cookies can easily crack in the oven, so another tip to make sure that doesn't happen is to let them sit for at least 30 minutes. I actually tend to let them sit for an hour, so they develop almost like a skin on top. You want them to be to the point where if you touch them, nothing will get on your finger. We're going to bake them at 300 degrees for 20 minutes. Oh, those look perfect. Now I'm gonna make pink macarons. You know they've come out correct when they haven't cracked on top and they have feet, which is this crackly looking part at the bottom. I made one more batter, but this time I didn't add any food coloring. I'm gonna leave them white for my lemon poppy seed macarons. Great, our macaron shells turned out perfect. While they cool, I'm gonna show you how to make the fillings. First, I'm gonna show you the blackberry cheesecake. I pureed some blackberries and now I'm gonna run them through a sieve to strain out all the seeds. Cream some cream cheese and sugar together. Then add in your blackberry juice. Add 
Add in some vanilla extract and sour cream. Then scrape down the sides of the bowl and give it another mix. And there you have it. Just place it in a piping bag fitted with a smaller round tip than you use for your macaron shells and you're ready to pipe. Don't those look beautiful? Just match the cookie shell size to one another, and there you have it. Man, these look so beautiful. Okay, so now we're gonna make our chocolate ganache. For my ganache, I just melted some semi-sweet chocolate, and now I'm gonna add in a little heavy cream. I'm gonna add a little softened butter and give it another mix. Once that's all mixed together, I'm gonna put it in the fridge and let it cool. Okay, so for our lemon poppy seed filling, we're gonna add some cream cheese and powdered sugar to a mixer. A little bit of butter, and give that a mix. Go ahead and scrape down the sides of the bowl. Then we're gonna add some lemon juice a little vanilla extract, and some poppy seeds, and give it another mix. It's ready to go, I'm just gonna place it in a piping bag. Make sure you follow all the tips that I gave you so your macarons turn out perfect. I know these cookies can be a little tricky, so if you have any questions, leave me a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe. Bye, my lovelies.